Good morning. It's our Wednesday devotion. Hasn't it great to be back at church? But we still get an opportunity to connect together this morning as I bring our Wednesday devotion. I've called it Don't Resist. Some of us have resisted God's love, God's forgiveness, His goodness, His mercy, His kindness, His compassion, His provision, His generosity, because we don't believe we deserve it. Can you relate to that? In case you think I'm about to pat you on the back and say, well, of course you deserve all that. You're a good person. You deserve the Lord's blessings. You are wrong. Come on, Michael, I hear you say. Come on, surely not. None of us deserve God's love. None of us deserve God's goodness. None of us deserve his blessings. Not a single one of us. We are all sinners by nature. Who because of our sin and his holiness and righteousness, we deserve death. We deserve separation from God. But he loves us so much. He sent his one and only son who lived a perfect life and died the most horrendous death upon a cross to pay for our sins. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 verse 9. I know many of you who are listening and watching this today have done that. We are hopeless without him. We don't deserve anything good from God. But he loves us so much. He wants to love us and bless us. He wants to provide for me and provide for you. And most of all, he wants us to spend eternity with him. Don't resist him any more. Receive what he offers. It is by the mercy and grace of God. Now some of us, we've struggled with accepting his love, accepting his forgiveness, accepting his blessings. Maybe because we've been hurt. Or maybe we are held captive by a past experience. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, it reads, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Today, stop. Take a moment. Take a breath. Humble yourself before God. Friend, receive his love. Receive his grace. Receive his mercy and forgiveness. Receive blessings and salvation. Come home. Come home. If you were with us Sunday morning, you would have heard me say this. Because sometimes what keeps you from trusting God in the present is your attachment to the past. And just like in the prodigal son, as the father is down the road waiting for his son, so God is waiting for you to come home. Come home. Walk down that road. Be embraced by the father. Come home, my child. My grace is enough. My forgiveness is enough. My mercy and compassion is enough for you.
Maybe. Maybe that's all you need today. Maybe all you need to do, and all I need to do, is to just say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and will continue to do. I'm sorry I resisted all those years. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16, I know many of you know that and can quote it by heart. Romans 10.9, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. May God bless you. I look forward to catching up with you very soon. Amen.